Hi. <laughs> okay. So today I was out and <laughs> I had a doctor appointment and um So <laughs> it was early morning. <laughs> and I actually I had to go because um well, after the appointment, and I decided to go because there was a particular movie that I wanted to put back into my library. While I was selling things, I <laughs> got rid of it. And I'm going to talk about it. So, Tenth Kingdom. This was actually released by Hallmark. Now, one thing to understand is now everybody binge watches everything, and you know, we got Netflix now, so you watch like all the se you know, all the episodes, and all so you don't really understand mini series. Maybe you do, I don't know, but we used to have mini series. Um, I told somebody about a couple of the mini series that ran when I was in high school. It pretty much started my eighth grade year. Um, some of them were really bad and worth forgetting. <laughs> and, uh, but, like, the funny thing to me is, like, in 1986, there was a mini series that was Titanic, and I had like Catherine Zeta Jones and Tim Curry. Those are the only two names I actually remember out of it. And the funny thing is, is that a lot of these mini series would have big names, but some of them just fell flat. They were awful. So like Titanic came out, and then the next year the movie came out. <laughs> but yeah, the, the Titanic mini series was pretty bad. <laughs> It was awful. If you're a big fan of Titanic and you've seen a bunch of the movies and everything, like even Raise the Titanic, which has Sir Alec Guinness in it, a lot of you are like, wait, I didn't know about that. <laughs> it does exist. <laughs> so there was that one. There was Jason and the Argonauts. Um... The Odyssey, I think that one had Vanessa Williams in it, and yeah, it just had a lot of big names, and uh, there was one about, uh, like, the Celtic fairies and everything, that one was awful, that one was terrible, very poorly made, Merlin was good. And the funny thing about Merlin is it had nothing to do with the books, with the book series. Now, the book series was, by the time that miniseries came out, the book series was pretty new around here. And, um, and then the... TV series happened. <laughs> um, there was Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc was good. I liked that one. That one has Neil Patrick Harris in it. Uh, that Lily Sabisky. I think that's her last name. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. She was in quite a few of those. And the funniest thing is it was Mary Mother of Jesus. Christian Bale was in that one. <laughs> oh, I can remember. A lot of people were like, hey, the guy from Newsies is in that. <laughs> I'm like, you know, he did other movies. <laughs> but Tenth Kingdom. This series was epic. The funny thing about this one is, now I was a senior in high school when this one came out. And... You know, it's a fantasy series, <laughs> obvious, and 
the funniest thing is that the popular kids were watching it. I can remember going th through the halls and we were all quoting it and we were all following it. I mean, <laughs> I, I can remember one of the popular girls was like, hey, did you watch it? Because I missed it. What happened? What did I miss? And, um... It was just one of those miniseries, because like a lot of the other miniseries, it was like, like Jason and the Argonauts, it was like, oh, whatever, you know, the the people that were interested in that watched it, and um, it was kind of one of those things like Hercules with him, I can't remember his name to save my life, because, um, you know, we went through a time in the mid to late 90s, there was a Hercules and um, Xena Warrior Princess, and there was also, um, oh, Bruce Campbell had his uh, Jack of All Trades. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, look that one up, because it's actually, it's so quirky and so funny. But those who were interested in that stuff watched it, everyone else just kind of stayed away from it. This one, everyone was watching it and quoting it. So, the concept is, of course, Well, first of all, <laughs> the cast. Um, John Larroquette, Larroquette, excuse me, and Kimberly Williams, Paisley. They're the two that live in New York, and they're somehow sucked into this fantasy world. You also have Diane Weist. I'm pretty sure I'm saying her name wrong. If you don't know who that is, she is the mom in, um, Edward Scissorhands. Rutger Hauer is in the movie, um, Rutger Hauer is in Blade Runner. It's funny because he pops up. Uh, uh, Rutger Hauer is the guy who holds the dove <laughs> in, um, oh, what else is he in? I check something really quick. Um, there's a movie called uh, Lady Hawk, and it's also got um, Matthew Broderick in it. Well, he's in that. Rutger Hauer is in that. Let's see. This seems like... Blade Runner. He was, he was in Sin City. Of course, I haven't seen that movie for. It's not in the theater. He's in Batman Begins. Who was he in Batman Begins? Come all the way down. Earl. And in Sin City, he was Cardinal Rourke. <laughs> Ed O'Neill is in this as well. Of course, you won't really recognize him because he's one of the trolls. And, um... And then Anne-Margaret, she's Cinderella. <laughs> um...
I mean, it... let's see, who was, yeah, Scott Cohen, he was in Love and Other Drugs, I've never seen that before. But, um, I was also looking up the cast just a little bit ago. I mean, like, Warwick Davis is in it. <laughs> and, um, let me see. Now, Don Lewis, she was in A Different World. She plays one of the trolls. The trolls are so funny. <laughs> they're, they're, oh my gosh. Oh, they have some of the best lines. So before you start, because you're going to hear, oh, well, she plays a troll, and you're like, oh, no. They have the best lines in the whole movie. And actually, their scenes were the best. <laughs> it, was, it was so great. Uh... Yeah, Anne Margaret, Warwick Davis, oh, Hugh Gorman. He didn't really do anything after this. I mean, or even before. But, and Jeremiah Burkett was in Lucifer. He played Lee. I never really watched that show, but if you do, he he was in. He played one of the trolls too. Uh, oh, no kidding! Now some of these that were in here, that were in the Tenth Kingdom, ended up in Harry Potter. <laughs> I, this particular gentleman, Robert Hardy. Uh, Robert Hardy, who did he play? He played Cornelius Fudge in all of them. <laughs> But when I was looking at some of these, and some of the characters that they play, like uh, Rector Howard plays the hunts, Huntsman, and some of the trolls' names, like Relish the Troll King, that's Ed O'Neill, uh, Blabberwort the Troll, that's Don Lewis, uh, Burley the Troll, and Bluebell the Troll, and then uh, Robert Hardy is Chancellor Grizzle. Griswold, and then Warwick Davis is Acorn. Warwick Davis's character, Acorn, he's a scavenger. I mean, he's he's like a Jawa. <laughs> he's he's like a little thief. I mean, you would never expect this movie to come from Hallmark because of what Hallmark is now. You know, pretty much there, and I know that there's a lot of people, I have a lot of friends who absolutely love the Hallmark channel and the Hallmark movies and everything, and it makes them feel good. I get that. But, just like My Chemical Romance makes me feel good, and Brian Adams makes me feel good, and Billy Idol makes me feel good. So, <laughs> listening to their music makes me feel happy. So, I get it. But when you actually look at the movies that are pumped out now from Hallmark, it's pretty much the same. 
But I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade here. But when you see, you know, like the Tenth Kingdom, and I think Merlin was also, oh, I think Merlin was also from Hallmark as well. I don't think all of them, I think uh, CBS and ABC released a couple of them as well, but I think Merlin is from them too. <sighs> Peter Vaughn, that was one. Peter Vaughn is sadly gone now. He died in 2016. He was in Time Bandits, but he was also in Game of Thrones. He played, and I've never watched Game of Thrones. But for those of you that are big Game of Thrones fans, he play he he is uh, Meister Amon. I'm sure I'm butchering that, and I apologize. But. In the Tenth Kingdom, he was Wilfred Peep. There's this whole thing about little Will Peep. And uh, because this one, oh, who is it? Scott Cohen. Scott Cohen's character is the wolf. And um, so, of course, they end up in Bo Peep's area of this enchanted world and it causes problems <laughs> but Peter Vaughn is I think old man peep and um I think wasn't he another one that was in Harry Potter I can't remember uh maybe not Okay, what has she done? Not much. Okay. Okay, the lady that played Carmen, uh, Snow White, it's Carmen Mannheim. And she was in Criminal Minds. She played Carla Hines. That was another show I didn't watch. Is there another show she was in? I'm pretty sure there was. Um. I think this is one. Okay, so the Tooth Fairy is Timothy Bateson. <laughs> I didn't remember. It's been a while since I've seen this, and um, and he died in two thousand nine, so it's been ten years. And he was he was creature in Order of the Phoenix. He was the voice. But he was also in Labyrinth um, as he was the worm. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Uh, 
was the voice of a of the goblin and four guards in the worm and labyrinth. So anyway, um, like I said, a lot of these have like, you see like a scrap metal man, which brings in that uh, Warwick Davis's character, Acorn. You have a puppeteer, oh, Marcus Clark, once it came up. He was in Solo. Who did he play? Oh, he was in Special Effects. Never mind. So anyway, with Tenth Kingdom, you're basically drawn into these two people, which is John Larroquette and um, Kimberly Williams Paisley's character. They're drawn into this enchanted world for one reason or another. Um, and... They end up meeting a collection of people, like dwarfs and elves and trolls. <laughs> and, um, like, like I said, there's Bo Peep, you meet Snow White, you meet all... Uh, oh, yeah. And there's, and, and it's basically based off like uh, nursery rhymes and, and then of course like Cinderella and Grimm's fairy tales and all that. But, <laughs> it's so... I mean, it was so different from all the other miniseries. <laughs> and, um... If you've never seen it, I mean, it's long. I mean... I don't remember just how long. Yeah, seven hours, 27 minutes, but again... <laughs> so it was a miniseries. Um, but if you can binge watch, <laughs> I think you can binge on this. Um, the idea that, you know, she lives with her dad, he's down on his luck, and seems like he had just got fired again and then this weird happenstance where they end up in this world and and then they end up in, in this adventure <laughs> like I said when it came out, I was, it was my senior year of high school, so it was 2000, 19 years ago. <laughs> and all of us, I mean, the popular kids, everybody was quoting it and asking about it and keeping up with it. I mean, it was, it was the thing. <laughs> Because, like I said, there was the Odyssey, and there was 
the um, Jason and the Argonauts and and some of those other ones, but it's like if you were interested in it, those people would keep up with it. And um, so, but anyhow, <laughs> um, I do recommend this. <laughs> A lot. It was like I said. It was released by uh, Hallmark. I kind of wish Hallmark would go back to releasing stuff like this. Again, you know, I know that people like the movies that they release now, and I'm not gonna rain on their parade at all. If it makes them happy, then <laughs> so be it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this, and I know Merlin was, but I don't know that all of the miniseries were. I know that ABC was re releasing miniseries too, but after something like this, they should do this again. <laughs> so, but if you've never seen this, you should take the time to actually see it. I promise you won't be disappointed. <laughs>